joining with me, Tracy McIntyre, on My Life on a Hill. Today we're doing another Valentine's craft. Um, it's going to be another, basically, um, candy bouquet, and but this time we're going to use the pink um, little holder that I found at 99 cent store. So um, we could keep this really keep the cost down with everything if we go to 99 cent store. And since it's going to be pink, we're going to basically do the same. We're going to have these ribbon. Again, they were from chair covers that I had at a, um, a little party that I have. I'm going to tuck them in there because normally you have like the, the regular um, gift wrapping paper. You would poke it in there and it come out real pretty. But I don't have any and I have leftovers. So why waste, right? And I finally get to use these stuff. I'm going to put them in there so they glue them in so that they stick out. Okay, guys. I'm going to show you what I did. At this time, I took the chair covers that I, the chair chair covers ribbon um, bow that I tied on the chair and I did them and I cut them like this. So now I'm going to glue the inside and just stick them in and then, okay. So we're going to go ahead and let the glue hit where it may land. It can't go in there but the glue. Okay, everything's already inside. So the things, the candies that already have a stem on them, I'm just going to go ahead and place them right now. And then what I'm going to do is the same thing I did with the last book, okay, is use my craft stick. And we're going to glue them on so that they could, you know, fit inside. And we're going to glue them on here. And we're going to go ahead and poke them inside so that we have a beautiful bouquet. It's basically the same thing like the last um, bouquet that you saw, but that one was glass. And this one is a um, little container already with a little heart decoration on it. So I'll be back when I basically um, have these glued and I'll show you how to position them inside. Okay, this time, instead of putting three candy on one stick because I'm limited on candy, we want to space it out, we've decided to put one on each, okay? And I glued, glued them on. For my teddy bear, I went ahead and I tied a ribbon around the neck and I just pushed it through. And then I glued another one on so I could give it a little bit of height when I put it in here. So we're going to go ahead and position them inside, play with them a little bit to our likings, and then I'll be back, okay? Okay, guys, I'm finished. Again, my son had to help me. Yes, he's behind the camera. That's it. Anyway, this is another idea that I did. It's small again. Um, you know, if you're making these things yourselves, you want to keep them small. Um, this gets costly, but if it's something you want to give um, a grand finale to, of course, then make it big. Um, add more candy, add more, um, you know, teddy bears, whatever you may. But this is another idea. I'm making it on a small scale so that you can basically take it small, medium, large, however you wish. I hope you like this one. And again, instead of, if you don't want to use the stick here, you can basically use um, the one for the candy molds. Those are longer, skinnier. But because these candy are kind of heavy and they're tipsy tipsy in, in, in a container, I use the bigger ones to help me. And you can put more candy in here if you want, but this is just to give you an idea, okay? So thanks again for joining me, Tracy McNahad, on My Life on a Hill. And I hope that these ideas can help you um, give a wonderful gift to someone at a very expensive price and that's my goal here because life is hard out there buddy trust me that's why i stay here and do this no anyways you have a great day take care